Professor Barnabas Nawangwe was first appointed as the Vice Chancellor of Makere University in September 2017, replacing Professor John Dumba Sentamu. This made Nawangwe the 11th Vice Chancellor of the institution since it first gained its autonomy back in 1970. Nawangwe's first term in office was set to expire on August 31st. But the University Chancellor Ezra Suruma, on recommendation of the University Council, reappointed him as Vice Chancellor for a second term. I take my reappointment as a vote of confidence in the work that I've done over the last five years. As you are all aware, I took over the University when it was failing serious challenges of indiscipline by students and staff. But his reappointment has not come without opposition from some members of staff led by Professor Jude Sempewa and Dr. Deus Kamunyo Muhwezi, who insist that Nawango's reappointment is unlawful since he is older than the upper age limit of 65. My first advice is let them study the law. Uh, because they are working an institution uh, whose uh, who's governing law, they should know. But apparently they don't know the law and they are making mistakes and they're talking, you know, with ignorance. Nawangwe, whose tenure comes as Makere University is celebrating 100 years of existence, says he intends to focus on turning Makere into a research-led university whose works contribute to the growth and development of the country. We want the research that is done at Makere to translate into real products and services to transform our economy to transform our society. Nawangwe is also aware of the current hard economic times that are affecting the university, but he says that the administration is already looking for alternative sources of revenue instead of only relying on government funds. We have put in place a, a, a grant administration and management support unit whose main purpose is to support researchers to bring in more grants, but also to track the use of those grants to make sure that when we get that money, it is put to proper use. We get quite uh, considerable revenue from uh, uh, higher of university facilities. For example, we have banks here. The banks give us some money they, because they rent the space. We rent out to uh, university facilities for various purposes. On his desk is also the all-important task of restoring the university's iconic tower, which went up in flames in 2020. It's no secret that there has been tension between the vice-chancellor and the university staff. For me, my hands are open, uh, and uh, I'll work with all of them. But I will not tolerate indiscipline. That one they should know. The same goes for students and their leaders, whose relationship with Professor Nawangwe has also been tense. In this interview, Nawangwe has told us of the legacy that he hopes to leave behind. The university that is a very vibrant research institution, very innovative, churning out goods and services, churning out companies that are employing people and transforming this country's economy. That is the legacy I want to leave. Professor Barnabas Nawanga's tenure as Vice Chancellor is planned to end in 2027. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.